So thank you so much for coming to the Omzia Healing Sanctuary. Yay! My name is Omar, as you already know. I'm one half of what goes on here. My wife is the other half. She'll come down later. She's going to get into the water at the end, and then the kids will come down. You see, it gets a little crazy, but this is a family thing. We're building community here. Um, it's a place where you come and you plug in, you energize, and you get back out there. So let's talk about the breath, what's happening there. Why are we doing the breath? We just don't get into the water. You could, but it's kind of like one of those old cars that you kind of like got to turn it on and give it a little bit of gas and warm it up a little bit before you go in. The breath work is incredible. It's so healing. It's a powerful tool. It's sitting right underneath your nose. It's, it's a lot, lot to do with your body and your mind and your spirit. So what's happening with the breath, we're taking power breaths in. We're oxygenizing the cells in our body, right? But before you know about the breath, you need to know about the autonomic nervous system. It comprises of two parts. The first part is the sympathetic and the other one is the parasympathetic. I'm sorry if... Some of you guys have heard this before. I've got to say it again. <laughs> so the sympathetic nervous system is the one um, you're allocating all your resources outward. So when you cross the street and a car comes, your eyes dilate, your muscles go into action, you get out of the way and it saves your life. It's a safety mechanism. The parasympathetic is the opposite. They call it the feed and breed. It's like where you eat, you like to relax and meditate and have sex. That's what we like, those two. We both need them. But it's the seesaw effect. It's like driving a car. You can't give it gas and brake at the same time. That's why they call it the autonomic nervous system. It's automatic. You don't have to worry about those things, high blood pressure and, and chemicals that are going into your muscles. It's automatically working. Whoever made this Ferrari that we're sitting in, it's incredible. Right? So that's the breath portion of it. Now the ice. The ice, there's so many benefits there. It's ridiculous. Uh, some people who come here, they go, oh, I did chronic. You know, the, the chronic, I, uh, the, kind of the cold air? Cryo. The cryo. Yeah, not cr chronic or something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dr. Dre. I know. Yeah. <laughs> He's here next week. Right? <laughs> That's the other workshop. Sorry about that. <laughs> the cryo. Thank you, brother. <laughs> That's the cold air. And they come in, oh, yeah, I've done that before. I'm good. And then they go into the water like, Ooh, this is different. I'm like, yeah, it's different. In fact, the science is not even really there for that one, for the, for the cry. It's not. But with this one, oh, my God, there's tons of literature on the Internet you could find out. It's great for inflammation. 95% of all sicknesses come from inflammation. Right? That comes from the foods we eat. You know, it inflames our organs on the inside, you know. And our muscles too. So the cold water keeps the inflammation down in our bodies. Then for our mind, it's great for depression. You know, it, it gives you uh, uh, tons of endorphins, right? Dopamine, the dopamine rush that you get that they've compared it to uh, nicotine and cocaine too. And then it lasts longer and it's cheaper too, by the way. So <laughs> you have cocaine, I know. Um, thank you. Um, so, so, so you got these two things going on. It's part of the complete package of when you're working out and you're lifting and you're running, you know, and all that. Like what else? There has to be something else. What about muscle recovery? That's where the cold comes in. Your, ca yeah. your showers should be cold, right? Um, so what are we doing? We're taking in lots of power breath. So when we're laying down, right, because taking in all this oxygen can make your head a little dizzy, and I wouldn't recommend that you're driving a car or operating heavy machinery or something like that, or at least sitting down. But laying down is always the best, right? You open, your body's relaxed, and then you breathe in, you take in the air. You could take it in through your nose, but your nose starts burning after a while. The important thing is just to get the air inside of your body, the oxygen. We're blowing off all the carbon. You see, we need oxygen as humans. Trees need carbon. They give us oxygen like that. See? So when we breathe in deeply, we take in the air, we go with the belly and the chest and then release it all. Just let it go. You don't have to blow it out hard. No, just hard in and then just let it go. 
See, belly chest. What are we doing? We're, we're tapping into our fight or flight system, right? The brain starts saying, who's chasing you? What's going on? Why are we breathing so hard? You know, what's happening here? But it's, you just tell your mind, it's okay. I got this. Don't worry. I, I'm fine. Thank you for helping me, but I got this. And just keep pushing through. Keep going. Keep with the rounds of breath. Then at some point, I'm going to tell you last one, and you blow all the air out. And then you hold your breath. It's called air retention. You relax your body. You sink into the ground. Just relax. Don't worry, I'm timing it. And then at some point, I'm going to go, now breathe in. And then you breathe in. And then you hold that one. Now that one, you push up the air up into your head because we're activating the pineal gland, the third eye right there. The one that regulates your serotonin when you're sleeping. The one that gives you the visions whenever you <laughs> plant medicine. It's in there. It's deep in there. It's the size of a rice grain. It used to be the size of a golf ball, but it's like muscles. You don't use it, you lose it. Over the evolution, it has shrunk, but it still works. It's an antenna that's inside there. So we're activating that right there. And that's the one also sets off the dimethyltryptamine, which is another chemical in your body, right? That gives you some visions. So don't be surprised if you see like swirling and purples and colors and shapes will start coming in. And don't get nervous. You'll be like, what the hell is that? Just relax. Just let it go. Just allow it. So when you got that air in, right, and you're pushing it up, you're pushing it up, you use those muscles that you use to lift heavy things off the floor like that, push it up. And then I'll let you know, release it, and then you release it slow. Shh. <clears throat> what could happen? Your leg starts twitching. Your hand starts moving. It can go up on its own, like all kinds of things. Your mind starts going places. People have come out with crazy stories like, hey, uh, I was in the fifth grade, you know, with my teacher and I can't believe that. Like, you know, so it, it taps into the deeper parts of your brain, right? Because real quickly, I'm going to get into it now, but um, the, frontal, the, the, the frontal lobe of your brain here, which is the <laughs> neocortex, right? It's a new part of the brain in the evolution of humans. This is the one that helps us to navigate through this world, like, you know, the clothes that we choose and the car we drive and those things. But sometimes it's on overdrive, right? You ever get like this worrying? Like, what am I worrying about? It's this part of your brain. So how do we quiet that? We have to quiet it. It's with the breaths. That's how you do it. Just take the breaths. Oxygenize the cells in your body. Air retention. It, it, it quiets it a bit, right? It'll get louder in the first, but then it quiets. And then you just see that you are with yourself. And then it starts to tap into the deeper parts, you know, the reptilian brain inside there. And then the after effects, it seeps into other parts of your life. Like if you want to write a book or start a business or start that relationship or end it too or something like that, you know, it helps you in that way. Oh. Sometimes things stop us. We don't know why. Why can't I? And I got that promotion. Why he got it? I, what am I doing? Why can't I be motivated? Why can't I get up in the morning, man? I want to go to the gym. I only went like twice last month. You know, I got the membership. I'm paying. I don't go, you know. I'm not motivated like that. That's what this is for right here, to push you into the present moment. That's what the water is. It pushes you right in the water, right there. When, when you're in the water, you can't think about like, oh, did I feed the dog before I left the house or something like that? Or did the cat, did I put out the, did I turn off the stove? Can't think about nothing like that. It's just you and your breath. Right, Ira? Right? It's just you. This is about you against you right there. Challenge yourself, you know. But I, I help you, coach you along the way, you know, with the uh, breath as you're in the water. All right, we're going to get right into it. So lay down, guys. Just relax. This is time for you. Believe it or not. We know how hard you work. 
So that's what you're here for, to let all that go. Concerns, worries. We think too much. We worry too much. We concern too much. Take a moment now to think about why are you here? You could have been anywhere today. Could have been watching TV in the warmth of your bed with the quilt over your head, but you're here. What is it that you want to get out of this? We're tapping into parts of our body that we don't normally do, right? Not unless you're like into training or something like that. Your MMA or some type of thing, you're, you're pushing your body to its limit. But that's what this is for. This is the training ground for your mind, for your body. Think about those things that stop you from doing things. Do you know what it is? Maybe you don't. Maybe it's the cell phone, right? We touch the cell phone too much, you know. Maybe it's that person in our life. It's like, wow, they're stopping me, man. They're not putting kerosene on my fire. They're pissing on it, you know. Like, I need to be, this is the trick. Be more positive. Always speak about positive things. And those negative people, you see, they'll stay away from you. Because their vibe is low, always complaining, and they're just dragging you down. Good people too, family, loved one, sister, brother, cousin, aunt, mom, dad. Just distance yourself from them. We're here to be the best version of ourselves in this life. We're not here just to drift, man. We're here to not to get into the boat without a compass and a rudder and, a, and just any wave that comes take us. No, we get that map out. What is it that you want to do with your life? What do you want to accomplish? You want to be that musician. You want to write that book. You want to accomplish those things in life. You know, be the best version. This is one practice that has helped me. I was a train wreck walking, man. <laughs> it's a long story. But this is just one that helped me. Yep. It takes work. That's why it's called breath work, not breath. Hang out, make a sandwich, and wait for the bus. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready, begin. Breathe in. Let it go. In. Release. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fully in. Out. In. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, fully in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Keep going in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Thank mm -hmm. you.